If you place second in a writing contest, will you jump for joy and push for better results the next time, or will you be discouraged and find an excuse not to join again? In life, you are always filled with choices. You may opt to have a pessimistic view and live a self-defeated life, or you may decide to take the optimist route and take a challenging and fulfilling life. So why should one nurture an optimist point of view and why should one not? Well, optimism has been linked to positive mood and good morale, to academic, athletic, military, occupational, and political success, to popularity, to good health, and even to long life and freedom from trauma. On the other hand, the rates of depression and pessimism have never been higher. It affects middle-aged adults the same way it hits younger people. The mean age of the onset of depression has gone from 30 years of age to 15 years of age. It is no longer a middle-aged housewife's disorder, but has now become a teenager's disorder as well. Let's explore how optimists tend to operate and take a peek at the research that backs up why it really pays to look at life from an optimistic point of view. Optimists expect the best. The defining characteristic of a pessimist is that they tend to believe bad events is the most likely outcome of most endeavors. Their pessimism tends to last a very long time and it serves to undermine just about everything they do. The truth is, optimists are confronted with the same hard knocks of this world. What differs is the way they explain their misfortune. They tend to view bad outcomes the opposite way a pessimist does. They tend to believe defeat is just a temporary setback and that its causes are confined to this one case. Optimists tend to focus on and plan for the problem at hand. They use positive reinterpretation. In other words, they most likely reinterpret a negative experience in a way that helps them learn and grow. Such people are unfazed by bad situations. They perceive it as a challenge and just try harder. They won't say things like, things will never get better. If I failed once, it will happen again. Or, if I experience misfortune in one part of my life, then it will happen in my whole life. Positive expectancies of optimists also predict better reactions during transitions to new environments, sudden tragedies, and unlikely turns of events. However, if and when they fall, they will have the confidence in the fact that they will get up again. They see opportunities instead of obstacles. People respond positively to optimists. Optimists are proactive and tend to be less dependent on others for their happiness. They find no need to control or manipulate others. As a rule, they usually draw people towards them. Their optimistic view of the world can be contagious and will sometimes influence those they are with. Optimism is seen as a socially desirable trait in all communities. Those who share optimism are generally accepted, while those who spread gloom and doom, panic and hysteria are held at arm's length. In life, optimistic people often win elections, get voted most congenial, and are sought after for advice. When the going gets tough, optimists get tougher. Optimists typically maintain higher levels of subjective well-being during times of stress than those who are less optimistic. In contrast, pessimists are likely to react to stressful events by denying that they exist or by avoiding dealing with the situation or problem altogether. Pessimists are more likely to quit trying when difficulties arise. Optimists persevere. They just don't give up easily, and they are also known for their patience. They see value in every inch they gain towards their goal or elusive dream. 
Optimists tend to be healthier and live longer. Medical research has justified that simple pleasures and a positive outlook can cause a measurable increase in the body's ability to fight disease. The health of optimistic people is unusually good. They age well and are much freer than most pessimistic people from the usual physical ills of middle age. And they usually outlive those people who are prone to excessive negative thoughts. So why not be an optimist and think positively towards a more fulfilled life? Believe it or not, it is as simple as making a decision and consistently developing the habit of thinking and viewing life from an optimistic standpoint. Why not look forward to success in all your endeavors instead of failure? Why not be resilient as opposed to being rigid? Just like everybody else, you are bound to hit low sometimes, but don't just stay down there. Lift yourself up out of the mud and greatly improve your chances of getting back on the right track. Be a beacon and inspire others to remove their dark colored glasses and see life on the bright side.